Welcome to this week's Wednesday Silver Lining. And first off, I heard that Poland has decided to send back over 1,000 tons of illegal waste from the UK. So if I understand correctly, the UK pays, because they're very like self-conscious about how much waste they have, so instead of dealing with the waste or limiting how much waste they have, they decided, oh, we'll just ship the waste off to some other country. So they pay Poland to take the waste, and Poland, of course, is very picky about what waste they take. But whatever company or organization sent the waste tried to slip in a bunch of contaminated waste, and so it's just like a bunch of oil and all sorts of things that you don't want to have in your landfill or in your recycling plant or wherever it's going. So, of course, Poland decided, fuck you, you're going to take this shit back and you'll have to deal with it because I don't want this stuff. And so I say, good, because I think it's a very bad idea to let countries export their waste. Like, the United States is very bad at, at that. They do that all the time. Like, I bet they probably do a thousand times more than that every year. It's like a million, million tons of waste or something like that. And it just pushes the problem off onto some other country. And most likely a country that is too poor to really face those problems yet. You know, like some third world countries and whatnot, they don't have the, the luxury of worrying about the poison that they're burying. They're just trying to make money so they can not starve to death. But then whenever the society builds up, now they have this big like chemical time bomb that the U.S. took advantage of them and sold to them and then they also deal with it. So I think it's a bit unethical to ship your waste to a different country. I might even say that it'd be a good law that all waste should stay within the borders of the town in which it was made. Because at least that way, then people really would not be able to ignore how much shit they throw away. At least that's the, an idea. And for all the protesters and people, all the activists that are all like, we should do more recycling. Well, pony up the fucking cash because recycling is, is expensive. And I do not think that recycling is going to become economical for, I don't know, 50 years. Because right now, most of the stuff that's recycled just goes to the landfill anyway. So that's a little rant about that. And I think that our entire waste disposal system is really fucked up. Now, second of all, I have also Polish news. I heard that the EU is still is still wanting to sue Poland over them basically wanting to act like their own country. Because the EU has... I would say the EU has really overstepped its bounds, if that's the right term. And it's trying to treat every single country as its own little state. And I think that a lot of countries need to get out of there because... It just it seems like a big, a big organization that is slowly eroding the sovereignty of each country and meddling in elections and everything, if I understand correctly. And I also heard they're pretty pretty soon they're wanting to start making their own military, which is that's a bit much. That's a bit much. I also heard that that the EU banned some activists from from some countries from every state in the uh, the Shenzhen whatever the Schengen agreement Schengen area whatever it's called sounds like a Chinese word but it's not um so yeah I think that the EU is it was a good attempt but it needs to be it, it needs to be destroyed then rebuilt a second time with all of the authoritarian like totalitarian stuff removed because they're, they're getting kind of too uh, controlly so I think that's good that Poland is sticking to their guns again and not let, letting the EU boss them around. And I hope that Poland leaves the EU. I honestly do. Now to aerospace news. Boeing and SpaceX have both installed their crew access arms on their launch towers, their launch complexes. And Boeing's arm looks kind of ugly compared to SpaceX's new one because SpaceX just definitely does have some good design. I mean, they do know how to make something, something look nice. Like, even though I have a disagreement with the design of the Crew Dragon capsule and its dashboard layout, it does look nice. And I would say that the Crew Axis arm 
definitely does look really nice on the, uh, the on the SpaceX launch site. So that's pretty cool. That's actually really cool. Oh, and lastly, I haven't been paying too much attention to news, so I only have like three and a half stories this time. Kodak has just finally released like the uh, the beta test of the Ektachrome film. I believe it was Ektachrome. I don't think it was Kodachrome. Either way, Kodak's trying to bring back a film stock that they discontinued a long time ago, a couple of years. And they're trying to build like fascination with it and whatnot and they're finally releasing it to uh, some photographers for testing. So honestly it makes you wonder like it's taken them years just to reboot the entire process. What if they just didn't discontinue it because I, I believe they discontinued it in 2009 like stopping it and then immediately trying to restart the entire thing and hire new people and build the machines like that. It seems like they've spent a lot of money when they could have just kept making the film but whatever. Kind of makes me worry about Fujifilm because I heard that Fujifilm has stopped producing their 35 millimeter film so thankfully we do have Axa still making film though like the Axa Chrome 200D is actually pretty good stuff so oh well. Well that's pretty much it. I gotta get back to drawing post holes and putting posts in so I'll leave it there. Hope you guys enjoyed this Wednesday Silver Lining and thank you very much for watching. See ya!